Well, Sean Hawley is here this evening. He's been poring over the stats, as always, and we heard Warren Gatland earlier gave his team a 5 out of 10 for performance yesterday. Sean, a tad generous, do you think? Well, 5 out of 10 to the public, Ross, but probably to his players, he'll tell them 2 out of 10. We've got some skills issues to look at, but also some tactical issues to highlight. Turnovers was the order of the day, up to 50% of turnover time. And teams are targeting Mike Phillips at the base. It was Keystone Cops at times. In loose play, it was very, very loose. Scott Baldwin here losing the ball in contact. And again, you see Jamie Roberts, four turnovers. Uncharacteristic from him, nine handling errors in total. The outside backs, they copped it after the match. Scott Williams here out the back door. And you can't do that in the wide channels to a team like Fiji. You were really lucky to get away and they didn't score from this particular one. But it wasn't just the outside backs. Usual suspect, normally a good ball carrier. Toby Falatau spilling the ball. There were nine contact turnovers. Even on turnover, Dan Lydiot in this case. Just far, far too loose giving Fiji the opportunity. They got a red card. They've done the damage. Here's Fiji's line. We are so close, but uncharacteristic errors. Turnover ball, not straight. Again, a real chance in the Fiji 22. A poor lift, an underthrow from Scott Baldwin. Fiji nicked the ball. Another chance gone begging. Wales went to the mall, 11 set pieces they tried to drive, but what happens when it collapses? They get turned over on this occasion. Did they have a plan B when the mall was collapsed? Just look at this here now. They try to suck in some Fiji defenders, but they don't really. Right, they go and attack the line, which is in place from a backline point of view. Does Rhys Priestland connect with his two centres? Is there really a challenge to the line? We don't seem to play in the face of the opposition. Another turnover and Gonover is away with another chance. Yes, we did apply pressure and got a penalty try on one occasion. We get a penalty here, but look at this. Are we really connected? Jamie Roberts is not an option. George North is nowhere near. And the line that is connected is the Fijian defensive line. You've got no chance here with long passes. And Liam Williams, who had an amazing game for us, to be fair to him, gets smashed on the game line again. We will persist with this one-up truck carry from the forwards. Does it really suck in any defender? No, it doesn't. Four Fijian forwards here, back into the line, and again we go with Scott Baldwin. We're not connected out the back, therefore it's easy for spot blitzers to get him and smash him on the game line. The All Blacks will do this as well as the South Africans. And when do we start to play with some width? Look at the Fijians tracking back here. There's clearly an opportunity to go. You can see where the space is. But do we in Wales have the opportunity and the ball players to get it out there and take these opportunities? Or do we persist in trucking this up into their strength? This is what happened last week. We saw Falau go the distance and even the 19 stone Nadolo, well, he's going to go from here as well. So there's lots and lots to work on from the Welsh point of view. Who do they pick? How do they go? The damning statistic is really zero points were scored in the second half. And of 27 minutes of that 40 minutes, Fiji played with 14 men and scored themselves. This just happened, Ross. <laughs> yeah, plenty of damning statistics from yesterday. Sean, have you found any chinks in their armour? Not the side that Wales are likely to play, Ross, no. But uh, there is a contrast in styles, and I'm sure Wales will be better next week. But the difference lies really in their, their play in the forwards. Just watch, I want to labour the point, but just watch Wales. If they persist with this game plan, they need to do better. Toby Falatau falls in. McCaw will be on that one next week, I trust me. Round the corner, one of our better footballers, Justin Tipperick. Expect him to be able to play, handle. Look, there's no interest from Priestland. And as we said earlier, then that sort of build, big defence will stop them. Contrast New Zealand. Here's Sam White, look, running hard, tipping on. On the ball and just look at the basic skill of the ball presentation this allows Smith to really get the ball away quick again contrast look how they're all connected they're all options and just out wide here you see you've got Kieran Reid and Jerome Kano fine players but they're holding their width and they're able to do this but they have lots of options a tip on pass creating space just look at this now they're all connected we have a forward putting Sonny Bill Williams into space fantastic where do you watch? You watch Surveyor or do you watch Smith? All the ice from England are on these two, but they have options. White Lock was an option. Here's Kieran Reid on the ball again. Out the back with Cruden or a prop on his outside. And they play both sides of the ruck with their 15. It's something Wales don't do with their game plan. They're smart and clever. They'll hound you down, harass you, and when they get a sniff, they're at you. This ball was on the line, and they know the law. Sam Whitelock knew that this was on the line, and he went for no offside for a try on another day it could have been given. Ben Smith, fantastic back three player. He's smart. The ball's in the air. He knows if he keeps his foot in touch here, he'll get the line out back in England. Contrast, Cuthbert. He catches it, then puts his foot in touch. That's a Fiji ball. England go to play off the second receiver to try and get to an edge. Can James Hook do this for Wales? They nearly, nearly succeeded in scoring tries in that wider channel. And they put some pressure on this potent back three by kicking into space, contesting in the air or hitting grass, and Johnny May nearly had an opportunity. 
the other style for them, they went downtown, but if you do that, you have to spot the likes of Sevilla, chop him down, and then create some sort of turnover, pressure, and territory. Brad Barrett does it, Rob Sean Core hound down the back three and Conrad Smith and get a penalty in the turnover. It's a chance for Wales. There's limited pickings there, Ross, and not a lot for Wales to, to breathe on, but it is an opportunity nonetheless. Absolutely. Thanks, Sean. Over the bar, Mr. Sean Holly and Mr. Xavier Ross.